she said the compound sentence. Okay. What is the main character in a story called? The main character in a story is the... Is the pro protagonist or the... Pro yeah, wow. wow. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to get that one. <laughs> the protagonist, that's right. All right. What type of word is the word truthfully? I wouldn't know. <laughs> truthfully comes from the derogative of truth, being truthful. It's being a type of word. Truthfully. How would you describe that word? As an adjective or a noun or something like that? Or mm -hmm. It'll be well, uh, an adjective. No. And a pronoun. Adverb. 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 In this book titled The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. What the heck was that? All right. In this book titled The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe, what is the last comma called? I wouldn't know this. I don't know. <laughs> the Oxford comma. The Oxford comma. That's Yeah, we're not good in English. <laughs> So the next question was, mm -hmm. a story conveying a moral lesson is what? A moral lesson? It's a type of book? No, like a story, mm -hmm. any story that has a moral lesson is what type of story? I wouldn't know. Parable? Mm, no, a fable. <laughs> Biblical is a parable, but it is, in English language is a is a fable. Yeah. What do you call a group of crows? This is for your dad. A group of crows? You give up? Murder? Yep. Well, because they fly around the the the, the corpus. That's what it is. I guess so. That's <laughs> I guess, yeah. what they call it. That. <laughs> All right, fifth birds, grade. A birds, a group of, of crows. That's what you call a group of crows. <laughs> fifth grade. What do you call a group of of, of, of cor those things of of the birds that are around? I don't know why it's called among birds. a, a carpus. It's a murder. I don't, don't know what it's called. Murder. Anyway, go ahead. All right. Who is the creator of the classic book characters Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn? I don't know. I don't Tom know Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. <laughs> yep. So, who is the what? The creator of the characters. Mark Twain. Yep. That's insane. I don't even know how, like... <laughs> <laughs> this is for you, Dad. The words the, an, and, a are known as what in the English grammar? Nouns? Nope. Adjectives? Words? Read it again. The words the, an, and, a. Descriptive words. Nope. Adjectives? <laughs> no. Oh. Articles. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Next one. Whose question is this? Yours? Mine. No, Yours? No, it was Yours? Mine. Yeah, mine. Okay. Who is the author of the 1960 novel about social and racial inequality, inequality to kill a mockingbird? Oh, I love that book. When I was in English class in high school, that was my favorite book. Don't know Frost? That we read. Yes, Frost? Nope, it was Harper Lee. Harper Lee, yeah. Alright, this is for your dad. Often seen at the end of a sentence, the long, the three trailing dots that indicate a mission from speech or written of a word or words that are super... Fluous. Sex is it, is it is it extra? Yeah. No. Um, or be able to be understood from contextual clues are known as parentheses. No, no. It's over the, the three dots. The three dots and, and, and extra. It's el ellipsis. Ellipsis. Yeah, that sounds a little right. That's right. What is the name of the most famous English playwright? Um, let me 
use that guy, dude. Oh, man. Um, what is his name? It's the, the guy. <laughs> the skull. What's his name? <laughs> What's what? He does the plays. Read it again. What is the name of the most famous... One second, the full mod. Of the most famous English playwright. Romeo and Juliet. Who created that? Shakespeare. Oh, there you go. I knew it, man. You gave it to me. I knew it. failed it because you had to give it You gave him a hint. How are you going to give it to me? I'm going to give it to you because you gave him a hint. Okay. And that's what you're supposed to be... Supposed to All right, next is geography. You didn't even know that. Geography. You're going to be good First at it. First grade... This first one I goes to your dad. Point. The first one goes to your dad. <laughs> How many continents are there? Five. No. Nope. Thirteen. Nope. Continents? Six. No. No. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> but you got it. You got it. I'll give it to you. She said multiple answers, and I should and I shouldn't get a point for the last one. No, no, because she. But gave you it. said multiple. Well, but she gave she gave you a hint. <laughs> Who wrote it? All That's right. Abby, little Abby, whatever. <laughs> what country is Paris the capital of? France. Get that one. Getting there. For your dad. In which country are the famous pyramids of Giza? Giza. Pyramids of Giza. Which country? Mm-hmm. It's got to be Egypt. Yep. <laughs> All right, and what city is the White House located? Washington. City. DC. <laughs> you don't get that. Why not? Because you said Washington. Washington don't matter. State. You gotta say Washington DC, District of Columbia. That's what it is. Supposed to be District of Columbia. <laughs> What's the answer? Washington DC. No, Washington DC. Didn't say DC. I said it. Give me the point. <laughs> How many states are in the United States of America? 52. 50. <laughs> so you don't include Puerto 50. Rico in there. No. I know. <laughs> and they don't include one. I said 52 too. 52 is 52 states. That's not How many star How many stars are in the in the in the band in the flag? 50. 52. There's 50. 50. Okay, it's fine. You said 50. You said 50. <laughs> you, got, you got 5 10 50. All right, second grade. First question to Little Abby. Second grade. <laughs> Which state is called the Lone Star State? What state is the Grand Canyon located? That wasn't the question before. You said it, though. What? Oh, All you didn't that. hear it? And which state is called the Lone Star State? Texas. Yep. You got Texas. Right? 16. And then your question is, in what state is the Grand Canyon located? Arizona. Yep. You. What three countries are located in North America? Mexico, United States, and Canada. Yep. Four. To travel from New York to London, one must fly over which ocean? The Atlantic Ocean. Yep. <laughs> in what country is the famous Taj Mahal located in? India. Huh? Yep. Mm, good. You got one. Third grade. First question for your dad. What is the longest river in the world? The longest river in the real world. Uh, I guess Nile, the Nile River? No. Nope. The Amazon River. Yep. Mm, you're getting there, bro. On what continent is the country of Greece located? Say again? In what continent is the country of Greece located? Europe. Good. Europe. Where? Europe. Europe. So you got 5, 10, 15, 20. What is the name for a body of land that is completely surrounded by water? An island. Yep. Okay. You already got the point. <laughs> yeah, you got the point. <laughs> Next question. What is the capital of New York? Albany. Yep. 
If you weren't going to get that right, he was about to scream it. <laughs> um, <laughs> how many Great Lakes are there in the United States? How many what? Great Lakes. Great Lakes. Three. No. Nope. No. Nope. Five. No. Nope. Great Lakes. One. No. Great Lakes. Yeah. No, there's four. four. There's four. I said it before. Four. You didn't say four. But I said it before. Yeah, you, said, you said it before. We just said it. That nobody gets the point. Oh, really? But you can answer more than once. No, but it's okay. Nobody got it. You didn't get it either. You didn't know. But all right. Fourth grade. It's my turn. Where is the largest desert in the world located? South America. No. Nope. Middle East. No. Northern, Northern Africa. Africa. Northern Africa. I say Africa. All right. I was gonna say Africa too. What am I one away? No. Yeah. You I got two. You. Hey. Okay. Now is your question. Your question. How many kingdoms are Stop. part of the United Kingdom? There's three. No. Nope. One. No. Nope. It's the United Kingdom. No. Nope. It's a one kingdom. If it's the United Kingdom, it's all united by one. <laughs> no, it's four. Four of them? You didn't get that one. <laughs> <laughs> united Kingdom is one kingdom. No, it's all united. More, more so, there's how many? Why? United States, what is it? Is it one state or one country? It's one country. It's oh, all the United States. Anyway, that's my. Um, which country is the largest in size? Which country is the largest inside? That would be Russia. Mm-hmm. The United States and Mexico are separated by which river? Why? Separated from Mexico? The United States and Mexico are separated by which river? Is it the Nile River? Nope. It's the Rio Grande. Yep. I wouldn't know. What is the southernmost continent called? What is the most of what country? Does? The world. Like, what is, at the South Pole. What, the, is, what is that called? That. No, no, it's like, it got to be, which is the what? The northern one? Is the southernmost continent it's, it's called. the South Pole. That's no. a continent, no? Oh, okay, I know what it is. Antarctica. Yep. <laughs> South Pole is the, yeah, that's right, I give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Can't give them that. He didn't get it anyways. <laughs> he didn't get it, but I gave it to him. He said it's like an article, so he said it. All right, fifth grade. What is the main lo language spoken in Canadian province of Quebec? French. Yes. Which country is both an island and a continent? Which country is both an island and a continent? Australia. Yep. Wow. What is the name of the sea bordered by Europe to the north and North Africa to the south? What was that again? Look. What is the name of the sea bordered by the... That's my question? Yes. That's the Mediterranean. Yeah, it is. The mountain range that includes Mount Everest is called... Appalachian Mountain? No. Say it again? The mountain range that includes Mount Everest is called... The Himalayas. Yep. You're close, bro. Imaginary <laughs> lines transversing the globe from pole to pole are called... What? 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 Imaginary lines transversing from globe... Uh, transversing the globe from pole to pole are called... Latitudes. No. Longitudes. Meridians. Yes. Oh, you passed me one. <laughs> All right. Tell me pretty lights. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.